Hello and welcome everyone to Clicks and Classics with Unavowed. We're on Staten Island to investigate our next case. We have a new member of the Unavowed, Logan and KK, and we are investigating with Eli. So I'm excited to do that. And let's look around. So here we can walk towards the marina. Of sculpture. Let's go to the right first. Oh, here we go. Um, Summoner, you have made a grave error. Return me to my world immediately. Hear me out, General. I have no time for talk. You summoned me in the middle of battle. I am the General Commander. Without me, my soldiers are doomed to failure. They were doomed to failure anyway. It matters not. They are under my command. It is no secret our efforts are going poorly. Perhaps even futile. They poison our waters. They destroy our resources, our homes, our lives. So we fight. Outnumbered and outmatched, but what choice do we have? A choice is exactly what I'm offering to you. We choose to live. If you have counsel to offer, I am listening. Then listen close. Okay, some kind of general... The hell was that? Secondhand visions are a bit fuzzy, but... I think it was one of the merfolk. Mm. What power drilled into my skull? Whoa, easy. Your head okay? You do look kind of hungover. Is that it? Because I know a few good hangover cures from back in the day. It's not a hangover. It's a neuromorphic memory imprint. Oh, just as well. None of those cures actually worked anyway. You seem all right. Good. Did I, uh, did I hear you right? There was a mermaid? <laughs> it was a male, and the term is merfolk, but yeah, it was summoned here. Which shouldn't be possible. You've seen how much energy it takes to open the path through the void. Not even a demon possesses that kind of power. Uh... Maybe I'm just special? <laughs> that's debatable. But that demon of yours is something new for sure. But we're not going to learn anything standing around here. Let's keep moving. Okay. Richmond Terrace. Hmm. Can't, can't do anything here. Oh. That's crap, and you know it. Keep your voice down. Oh, I'm sorry. Wouldn't want to embarrass you. Jesus, V. It's not that. You can't be here. Everyone already looks at me funny. Can't you just stop? People are dead. How many are gonna pile up before you do something? It's a tragedy, Vicky. That's all this is. Right. Sure. I'm getting a drink. See you around, Donnie. Bye. Okay, what is going on here? A shining new sign for the 120th precinct of Staten Island. Heavy oak door to the old police station. Comes barely out of his teens. He is entranced by his phone. Oh, is he playing the same game that Logan and KK were playing? Huh? Sorry, I was a bit distracted. You're waiting for the bus? Yep. Saving up to buy a car. Until then, I ride the bus with the plebes. Could be worse. At least cops ride free. Uh, you look pretty engrossed on your phone there. I guess I am. You ever play Trollgate? It's like digital crack. Don't I know it. You play? Sort of. I have this friend. She talks about it. 
Oh, hot. Heh. Uh, usually I'm that friend. What guild is she in? Crystal. But sh she doesn't play anymore. She managed to quit, huh? I wish I could. I created a character when I was like 16. They got me hooked for life. I couldn't help but overhear that argument you were. Nobody. Having. You didn't see me with anyone. Sorry to tell you, but I did see you arguing with Shit, someone. I mean, crap. Damn it, Vicky. Why do you have to screw up everything? Don't tell anyone, okay? I'll never hear the end of it. Is there some co sort of problem? Vicky, there's always a problem. And that's all I'm going to say. Okay. Right. See you. That's not suspicious at all. Old timey photos of cops and cops cars. Cop cars, not cops cars. This plant looks plastic. Uh, the officer is taking advantage of the quiet night to get some paperwork done. This woman says at the desk and grows some paperwork. Yes? What is it? Are. Sorry. I thought you looked a bit familiar. But no. It was just a trick of the light. I've just one of those faces. I'm an actor. A useful skill to have in my line of work. In any case, while I'd love to chat, I have a mountain of paperwork to get through. Unless there's something else I could help you with? Um, what do you do Captain here? Captain Joy Harrison, at your service. Filling out paperwork, a specialty. I saw a woman named Vicky arguing with the cop outside. <sighs> Is she bothering my officers again? That woman just can't let things go. Could you tell me about Vicky? What's to tell? She used to be one of my finest detectives. Now she's not. I feel for her. I really do. But until she gets the help she needs, she needs to stay out of our way. Now, unless that's all... Vicky needs help? What kind of Mental help? help. The kind you need a PhD to prescribe medication for? She refuses to get it. And it's only making her condition worse. Heaven helps those who help themselves, as they say. I mean, that it's could be uh, a sign of some supernatural influence. We have those. I do not gossip about my officers, even a lot recently. Things. Please take your idle speculation elsewhere. Oh, yes, fair enough. well, if you'll excuse me, I have now paperwork to climb. Maybe we can find her down the road. Okay, I can't. I'll go this no, way. No, KK, I'm not gonna ask him to join your troll gate guild. Let's try not to annoy the cops, okay? Let's look in the other direction. No, Eli, you know about bestowers? About folks like me? A bit. The records are spotty, but there are some. What do they say? Nothing that's relevant anymore. The supernatural world has changed. I mean, okay. things got better or worse. Didn't want to interrupt them. The ferry continues to ferry passengers to and from Staten Island. Let's go to the left. Oh. So he's like the others. There are no others. Janie, this is rotten and you know it. It's a tragedy, Vicky. That's all this is. God damn it! You know what? I need a drink. Come talk to me if you want to do your damn job. Okay. So the body is covered by a uh, mildew stained tarp. The September 11th memorial. It overlooks the spot where the twin towers once stood. Let's talk to her. Sorry, sir. You shouldn't be here. You need to leave. I'm an actor. I'm a reporter from the Staten Island Gazette. What happened? Is that here? still in business? I'll cooperate as much as I can, but I can't tell you much. This is just a tragedy. A senseless tragedy. Who was that woman you were arguing with? Vicky? Nobody. Stay clear of her if you know what's good for you. What kind of tragedy? It's a tragedy. Just a tragedy. A senseless tragedy. Okay. Suspicious. Can you be a bit more detailed than that? What kind of tragedy? It's a tragedy. That's all uh, this is. 
Let's try it again. What it's, happened? It's... It's all right. Go ahead and say it. A tragedy. That's all this is. Mm. Sure. Please try and stay clear. I see. I see. There is definitely some mind meddling going on. Vinny, come on. You and me, we go back. You think I don't know that? But you keep bothering people. You keep bothering me. She was your wife, you asshole. It was a tragedy, Vicky. That's all it was. Mm -hmm. You're serious. Dead ass serious. Now leave, Santina. Well, screw you too, buddy. So yeah, they are bar. Now that takes all me back. saying it's just a tragedy. Which is very, very suspicious. Flies on the window, advertise quiz night and karaoke. Oh, let's have some karaoke. Logan, are you all right? I'm fine. Just give me a second. You can wait outside. The first thing to tell you is not to enter a gin joint, no matter what. But the AA handbook wasn't written with folks like us in mind, huh? Uh. You can stay out here if you want. No, no, that's not fair. Not to you, not to me. Look, never mind. I'm fine. Let's go in. Okay. Let's take care. Hey, new faces. All right. Come on in. Dry yourself off. Seems to be very happy uh, if that is his wife being dead there. Then again, if they were all, all influenced by a demon, it would be his fault. Drink of the month is Vinny's Vodka Martini. Sounds tempting. Fly up for a psychic hotline. Use matchbook of the name of the bar. Well, let's talk to him. Hey, uh... This is your place? My name's on the sign. So you're Vinny. Yep, you're pretty sharp. I have my moments. Ha, <laughs> I like you guys. Who are you arguing with outside? Oh, sorry you had to see that. Vicky and me, we go back. I help her out where I can, but there are limits. Why does Vicky need help? If you don't know, I probably shouldn't say. You guys are obviously not from the neighborhood. I'm an actor. Oh, I'm that as serious from this neighborhood for days. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Your accent's not bad. You could pass for a local, but no. Huh. Vicky's an old friend and a good cop once upon a time. I ain't betraying that. Even if she has become the neighborhood nut, I think you said something about your wife. It was a tragedy. Yeah, it was a tragedy. That's all it was. Neighborhood nut? You've seen her around. You know what I'm talking about. She skeeves everyone out. The cops want nothing to do with her. Even her own family's ready to write her off. Her own family won't talk to her? I said enough. Sorry. Um, hey, hat guy? You okay? I'm fine. It's just what you said. To turn away from your own family, it's the hardest thing in the world. Could be. Vicky made it easy for him, I'll say that much. A tragedy? What happened? It was a tragedy. That's all it was. That's all you have to say about your wife? It was a tragedy. That's all it was. Uh. I ain't going anywhere. Oh, we'll probably come back. Dies and it barely registers. Does that seem off to you? You're not wrong. His wife died. He's been brainwashed not to think about it. Yeah. He should be grieving. He needs to be grieving. It's just what you do. Okay. Oh. Oh, man. Another ghost. And in a back alley, no less. Uh, before Logan? before I wanted to engage with that, I wanted to see... Okay, here's... There's more here. The street continues toward the east. Um, okay. Just wanted to make sure. Well... Uh, Logan. KK. Can we talk to you for a sec? Hello? Who goes there? My name is Logan. This here's KK. 
This isn't the place for a child. Is she yours? Kinda. We're stuck together anyway. Either way, you shouldn't be here. Leave as soon as you can. Mm, what is her name? So you know my name. What's yours? I'm a soldier. Just a soldier. Come on. I'm trying to help you here. Can't you tell me your name? I'm a soldier. That's who I am. So, um, I hate to tell you this, but you're kind of dead? I am a soldier. It is my duty to die in battle. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's probably connected with this did. whole I did nothing. Merfolk I am merely a battle. Right, whatever you say. So I wonder if the demon made a pact with the merfolk to... But somehow people, humans are being sacrificed here and sent to the merfolk world as soldiers or something like that. No offense or anything, lady, but you don't look like a soldier to me. That's what I am. The general said so. Hmm. General? I fight for the general. I die for the general. It is who I am. It is what I do. Can you tell me anything about this place? I am waiting for orders. That is all. Come on. I'm trying to help you here. Can't you tell me your name? I'm a soldier. That's who I am. I'm gonna take off, okay? You don't need my permission. Hmm. No. Well, it's worth a try. But means we need a... Password there. Well, let's uh, explore some more. Okay, one, two, three. Tightly closed. Box lines forgotten. Elevator door. Small ventilation duct. Small card reader. Okay. 102. 101, 102, 103. Hmm. This is a large area. Oh, okay. So this wraps around. Evening, sir. Is Vicky really the neighborhood not? Who said that? Was it Vinny? Fucking Vinny. <sighs> of course, he's not wrong, is he? Is it true Vicky's family turned against her? Turned against her? Who said that? I haven't turned against her. Wait, you're oh. related to Vicky? Fine, now you know. She's my sister. I'm not trying to make a big deal out of that, okay? Vicky's been nothing but trouble ever since she got shot. Vicky was shot? Right in the shoulder. It was during that nightclub shooting last year. Vicky was the only one to get out alive. That kind of thing is bound to mess anybody up. But Vicky isn't Vicky anymore. Vicky is messed up? How? That's just it. We don't know. She just got weird, angry, all the time, twitchy, paranoid. She keeps bothering people with questions, trying to solve cases that we closed a long time ago. What case, cases did Vicky try to reopen? Just tragedies. That's all they are. Each of them, just a tragedy. Ah, uh, I see. If Vicky is such a problem, why don't you stop She's her? She's a Santina. That name still carries some weight around here, at least until she takes it too far. Which she will, the way she's going. You sound almost ashamed of her. Your own sister. Hey, man, you think I haven't tried talking to her? Tried to get her counseling, whatever? She won't listen. I feel bad for her, but she's gone somewhere none of us can follow. I'm not getting dragged down with her, and that's a fact. If she wants to live in Vinny's crap basement, that's her business. Vicky lives under Vinny's yeah. bar? Yeah. Since her severance package ran out, that's all she can afford. So, a brother and sister are both cops. All of us Santinas are cops. Our dad, grandpa, my two big brothers. It's a family thing. At least, until now. 
There's a dead body around. Janie's on that one, isn't she? It's a tragedy. That's all it is. So we heard. Like I said, it's just a tragedy. A tragedy. That's all it is. Did anyone die in the alley behind Vinny's? Oh, you mean the tragedy? That's all it was. A tragedy. Just leave Vinny's wife alone. Vinny's wife. Jesus, you sound like my sister. That case is closed. It was just a tragedy. That's all it was. Right. See you. Okay. Let's recheck. Yes? What is it? I'm quite busy here. Did everyone die in the alley behind Vinny's? That was a tragedy, wasn't it? It surely Poor was. Marlene. Marlene. It was just a tragedy. Oh, that's, that's good. We have a name. Is. Yes? What of it? Now, unless you have something important to bother me with. I do not gossip about my officers. You please? Okay. Yes, well, if you'll excuse me, I have... That's good. We have the name of the wife that might help in communicating with the... Uh... I'm impressed, Logan. You became a bestower, what, a year ago? Give or take. You adjusted fast. When I came into my power, it took me years to accept it. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not anything special. And KK took it easy on me. Bestower or not, unavowed or not, I'm still who I've always been. If I lose that, then I lose everything. Sometimes letting go is necessary, but I see your point. I asked you to leave. Is Vicky really the neighborhood nut? Neighborhood nut? You been talking to Vinny? Look, she's going through a rough patch. No question there. But you can't talk about cops that way, suspended or not. It's about respect. And what about yourself? When you spoke to Vicky before, was that respect? That's different. I'm a cop. Mm-hmm. About Vicky's family. Eesh. Word gets around, don't it? You think it's easy for the Santinas? They're a cop family to the bone, going back a hundred years at least. Getting suspended like that had to be a blow. It doesn't matter. You don't turn away from your family. I won't argue there. But in Vicky's case, I think it was mutual. Her folks had their anniversary barbecue last month. Vicky was there. Things went down. Wasn't pretty. Okay, about that barbecue. Like I said, it was for a folks' wedding anniversary. I don't know what went down, but the neighbors had to call the cops. Which, as you can imagine, made things a bit awkward at the next briefing meeting. Why do you keep asking about that? It was her folks' anniversary. We cops were called in. It was dead-ass awkward. Okay, did anyone die in the alley behind the his wife? It was a tragedy. That's... Uh... All it was. Lots of tragedies here. It's a tragedy. Can't you see her out? Badgering her isn't going to accomplish anything. I mean, yeah. Now, why are you going around asking about that? That was just the case is closed. I see. It. Sure. Okay. Trying round two with Vinny. I don't know if there's anything else. Hey, yeah. Uh... Uh, I heard Vicky lives in your yeah. basement. I never used the room, so I rent it out sometimes. The door's got a keypad lock, but since I let the renter choose the combo, there aren't any problems. Having Vicky down there is awkward as hell, but what can I do? Let her live in the street? As long as she uses the alley entrance and doesn't bother my customers, we don't have a problem. Okay, is Vicky home? She's never home. She only comes home to sleep. What she does all day is her own business. Can I take a look at, around Vicky's room? Um, no. What a thing to ask. Why would I let you do that? Because I'm an actor. 
She's our friend. She told us to wait for her. Huh. I'm impressed she has any friends left. Still, I can't help you. You can wait in here for her if you want. Okay. We really need to get down to Vegas. And room. why would I let you do that? Uh, I don't think that would help. Something is going on here and we want to get you to the bottom of it. You sound as crazy as Vicky. Nothing is going on. It's just a tragedy. That's, That's all that all is. It is. Yeah. Did anything happen to anyone in the alleyway outside? The alley? It was uh, my wife. A tragedy. That's all it was. Your wife died in the alley? She... It tragedy. That's all. Your wife's you name? Need to stop asking about that. It was a tragedy. That's all it was. Nothing else. I ain't going anywhere. Okay. I'm good. You can stop looking at me like that. We're just checking I on you. Wasn't looking? I was talking to KK. She worries. Right. Sorry. Okay. So round two here. We don't have a combo. I can't ask him that. Huh? What is it? KK's wondering if you guys thought about buying a computer. Oh, what? a computer. We're storing all our data on? We've considered it. We haven't done it yet. Uh no. She wants to see Trollgate on a bigger screen. Oh, uh, maybe someday. Okay, so let's try this again now that we have her name. Hey, it's us. She can help us with a really password. shouldn't be here. here. General's, General's orders. orders. Marlene. Marlene? Is that your name? Marlene? I'm a I'm soldier. A soldier. Even soldiers have names, and yours is Marlene. My name is Marlene. That's it. I, I, I think maybe you're right. I... Wait, what am I doing out here? Do you know Vinny, the guy who runs this bar? Hello? Vinny doesn't give me orders. The general does. So you do know Vinny? I await the general's orders. So why are you hanging around out here? I was getting the basement ready. Vicky, she rented it. I needed to clean it up. I needed the master key. Master key? For the basement. I was picking it up when I was somewhere else. Oh. What do you mean somewhere else? So somewhere here is the master key. I was getting the key. It's hidden under that symbol. Ah. I bent down to move it, then everything went dark. I was somewhere else. I was, I was on the, on the battlefield. The, battlefield. the, the sky, sky was red. red. Okay. I had a spear in my hand. They told me to fight. Who are they? You mentioned a they. Who are they? It's all so fuzzy. The man from the water. Only, he wasn't a man. He sent me to the forest. To the enemy. The ones with teeth and claws. They had to die. I had to kill them. So, so I, I did. did. So it sounds Jesus. like I may have Why'd been you do that? right with my assumption. Don't know. It's, it's coming clear. clear. I was I a soldier. soldier. I was I following was orders. orders. I, I, I was so people get killed here and being sent behind. to the Murfolk I heard the as snarling and, support, and the screams. I guess. Everything went dark again. I, what happened to me? Where was I? I don't know. They killed me, didn't they? I'm sorry. Anything else you can remember? Is there anything else you can remember? No. no. It's, it's all so hazy. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Let's ask a man uh, about the man from the water. Could you describe the man from the water? No. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I, wasn't I wasn't quite, quite myself. myself. Marlene, can you take KK's hand? We're going to get you to where you need to be. Uh, okay. okay. So I wonder how this would have gone if we would have taken Mandana. 
alley key. Unlocked. But before we go inside, it's a nice cliffhanger. We will take a little break and then we will continue tomorrow with more investigation in this very curious case. There's clearly some meddling going on from the demon. We have merfolk fighting a battle, people dying, other people's memories being wiped or at least altered. And we have this uh, strange Vicky character who seems to be onto something, but obviously nobody believes her or nobody uh or everyone is at least everyone's mind is altered to not believe her depending on it so we have to find out more about that we probably will once we enter that door thank you all for watching today's episode if you enjoyed the episode please give the video a thumbs up maybe consider subscribing to the channel and share the video with friends family and the people on the internet that helps me out a whole bunch and will bring you more content in the future I will be back with more Unavowed tomorrow. Until then, have a great time.